Uh, it's, it's just something that I do. Uh, it's easy for me to do it. I love doing it. I'm passionate about doing it now, as opposed to uh, it just being something that's on the back burner. So this is, uh, my art is a living product. I produce that product. And uh, as I said, I may as well make a living at that point. I'm doing it. Hello, welcome to the Artist Connection, brought to you by Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing. My name is Fred Robinson. Here today, we have Herman Taylor. How you doing, Herman? I'm doing fine, thank you. Good, good. Thank you. Thank you for um, participating in this. Okay. And, it's an honor. Um, so we want to um, just have a few questions to ask you. We have a few questions to ask you. So okay. Um, the community can learn a little bit more about you. Okay. So actually, um, give give us a brief history of of, of what you do and, and, and where you're from. And okay. Well, um, I'm born in Arkansas. Okay. Um, um, I left Arkansas when I was about 10 years old, come to Chicago for a vacation to visit with my uncle, my mother's brother, and uh, fell in love with Chicago. So I cried and stomped and beg to stay in Chicago with okay. my mother's brother. And uh, basically, that's where um, I grew up at, in, in the Chicago area, high school, left there, went to some college, and uh, moved out to Wisconsin in 1992. Okay. And, wh and what brought you here? Well, I actually came here to uh, return to school as an adult. Okay. Uh, in my younger years, there were like some ups and downs about what I wanted to do with college and so forth. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, uh, as a, into my adult life, I realized that this was something that I was leaving undone, and I wanted to go back and get that done. And uh, I came out to Wisconsin uh, because it offered me that opportunity here. Okay, so it was a good opportunity. Yes, it did. It okay. worked out well. All right, so um, we have a few questions for you in regards to what you do in regards to your art. So um, tell us, how, how did you develop your art career so far? Well, um, in terms of it being a career, I think that started to evolve um, just most recently, probably like since 2011, but I've always been an artist going back uh, to my younger years. You know, I did art, but I never thought about it as a career. Um, so it sort of evolved. Uh, I would do a piece here, put it down, come back to it. It was more or less like uh, just a hobby instead of me focusing on it as being a career. Okay. So how, how, how has it worked out? Well, right now, I'm, I'm okay with where I am. With, uh, I'm comfortable with it being uh, put in a career category. Okay. Uh, I'm actively uh, creating new work. Um, I have joined the artist community, if I can use that term, in, mm -hmm. in terms of looking at my work as being a business instead of just a hobby or something that I do for pastime. And uh, it continues to evolve because uh, I'm determined to make that happen. And uh, it's given me a purpose for wanting to make it happen. Um, I mean, I've, there's some great artists out here. And uh, I just feel like I want to be a part of that community now. Okay. You know, I've, we, we, we've been interviewing artists now for the last three or four months. And I've, I've, this is the first time I've heard the word purpose. So elaborate when you say purpose in regards to what you do. Well, you know, over the years, uh, I've learned some things. Well, at least I think I learned some things about myself. Let me put it in, in that category first of all, instead of making it just like a general kind of a statement. Um, as, I, as I stated, starting out, uh, I didn't continue on with college when I first started college. Okay. You know, I put that to the side to do other things. But as far as the art, art is a part of me. There's something that just lives in me, if I, can, if I can say that too. So like while I was doing all these other things, you know, that part of me that lives in me, it never went away. So I'm looking for other things to do, but I should have been looking for the artist in me. Right. So uh, 
you know, once I kind of made that connection, yeah, that gave uh, some meaning to who I am as an individual right. and uh, a purpose for being here. Okay. If I can say that. Mm -hmm. Yep, I understand that. So that kind of leads into this next question. Um, why do you want to make art and sell it? So it's kind of a two-part question. Okay, that's okay. Uh, number one, I want to make art because it's easy for me to do it. Uh, and uh, in terms of, you know, selling it, if I'm going to make it and this is going to be a career, uh, I may as well you know, uh, put it into the market and... and uh, Put some, attach some kind of marketing, um, you know, association there with it. Mm -hmm. Right, right. You, you, you have a, would you say you, you, you have a talent and you want to use your talent to make a living? Yes, okay. yes, yes. Let me, let me, uh, let's see if I go back and, and, and uh, address it again. You know? Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing specializes in custom framing, printing on canvas, and selling contemporary and African-American art, all housed in our 3,000 square foot art gallery. We are centrally located in Milwaukee at 4233 West Fond du Lac Avenue. We recognize local artists and strive to connect local talent with the community. We're asking for your support. Contact us to find out how you can help sponsor the work we're doing to highlight local artists in our community. So this is, uh, my art is a living product. I produce that product. And uh, as I said, I may as well make a living at that while I'm okay. doing it. All right. So um, Milwaukee has a, a thriving art community. Um, many may say it's small, many may say it's big. But um, I say it's nothing but talent. It's a lot of other artists in the city. Um, do you ever collaborate with any of the other artists? Um, yes, I do. And to answer the question, yes, I do. Uh, there's one thing that I need to become more proactive about, you know, being in touch with other artists. And um, that's another step forward that I'm making right now in terms of my own uh, growth in my, in my career efforts with, with the art. So, uh, and reaching out to other artists, uh, I try to talk to them to find out what they're doing. Uh, some new things that might be happening like in the community or um, in the market as far as art goes and, and that sort of stuff. I haven't actually collaborated on an individual product where me and some other artist was actually producing something, okay. but as far as sharing information, uh, yes I do and I'm trying to be more proactive about being in touch with those various artists. Okay. There are some great artists around Milwaukee. I, you know, that's been my experience. Yeah. So yeah. You know, I want to be a part of that. Okay. Now, um, your other interests that you have in life, your family, your your career, um, do do any of that influence your artwork? Um, yes, I think I think my entire life, um, in retrospect, has always influenced you know who I am as an artist, and uh, today I feel that artist in my soul and in my spirit. So. Uh, whatever I'm doing with my family or whenever I'm out and about, I see art, I hear art in terms of people saying and expressing things out of their, out of right. their mouths about mm -hmm. different things or just, just saying things. I sort of like, um, when I look into different situations, I sort of like, uh, I don't want to call it a matrix, but sort of just see life in a grid. And, you know, to me that becomes, okay, well, my next picture is going to have something to do with this. Right. And, right. Uh, you know, I kind of like associate words with my art. So the titles of those works 
have some connection to whatever the image is that's been expressed in the right. piece it's, of work. Herman, um, so can, can you describe um, to the audience um, the best art you've created? Is it a particular piece? Um, do you still have it? Uh, so yeah, explain. Uh, yes, I do. The Artist Connection podcast was generated from many conversations with local artists around the lack of opportunity to showcase their talent. Here at Greenwood Park Gallery and Framing, we recognize our local talent and strive to connect artists with the community. Please enjoy this opportunity to hear from local artists and learn more about what inspires their work.